life here was formal, like the, the life council this morning, and it should be like that. And he felt good when he was in Germany. He was earlier head of sir, is the vice chancellor of the Islamic University of Science and Technology. Gloria, sir, is one of my colleagues in college. He retired at least 60. Uh, last thank you, University of Germany, vice chancellor of the University in uh, Rijavi. It's a university education, sir. It's a private university. Like Western Davies, uh, Rijavi, it's a non state university. She's right now only lady member of the OCAF Trust, sir, the, uh, which manages various institutions. How are you? Uh, Professor Vani, sir, he is associate professor of political science. But more recently, why, why I'm interested in identity, self rule, uh, issues which we level in the area of university in uh, Kashmir, so very interesting, is the cloning of a Pashmina goat. Sir. And uh, I wish a stage we had brought. I would only like to emphasize on one point, which a couple of you have emphasized that we require not only quantity but quality. In our anxiety to achieve quantity, we should not compromise with quality. It is a challenging task, no doubt, to have both physical expansion, at the same time to have vertical <coughs> movement in respect of the quality. One billion plus people we shall have today. <coughs> I'll just give you one example. We established IITs in 60s. At the 50s we began, and the first lot of eight IITs, they not only built up their reputation. But today, when we look around the world, I find in any developed country, you will find at least a dozen, if not more, if not scores, the persons who are well placed there, either in the field of academy or in administration, administration, both political administration, business administration, <coughs> or in various professions because of their quality. This is the story of one side of the coin. Other side of the <coughs> story, the story of the other side of the coin is that very recently when a list of 200 top institutions of the world came, I did not find a single Indian university or even an IIT. In the gap and linkage between quality and quantity is absolutely needed. And this is the appropriate time. Twelve five year plan is going to be formulated. I'm not quite sure whether we'll be able to reach more than 6% of GDP to be invested in education when the final figures will be available from Planning Commission. It will be known. But whatever be the figure, the question is that whatever type of expansions we would like to have, we shall have to keep in mind even within the resources available, and when I talk of resources, I mean human resources, financial resources, other type of social resources, all taken in together, that how best they could be deployed. Visitor of central universities, I understand perhaps 43 central universities, of which one is administered by the Ministry of Shipping and Transport, another is perhaps administered by uh, Ministry of Agriculture <laughs> and rest 41 are administered by the Ministry of Human Resource Development. I had a discussion with him that I would like to have a discussion with the 
vice chancellors of the central universities are uh, sometimes early next year and it is just not a one day ha or half a day conference making some statement and i would like to know from you as though the time is limited if i knew that the inter discussion would be so interesting this two days conference so that we can <coughs> have interactive sessions apart from the vice chancellors others important stakeholders should also be there in conclusion i would just like to express my gratitude to you and referring to as one distinguished participant mentioned about tagore's vishu harthi apart from bengal i come from the exact area where this university is located and in fact in my formative years i was grown in that larger environment of that university and i knew how valuable the institution was i can give you just one example that when immediately after independence long before independence tagore decided that eminent indians not the british governors or british viceroys will be the head of the chancellor of the institution eminent indian should be starting from sarojini naidu tej bahadur shatru when pandit jawaharlal nehru was offered naturally his advisor suggested how the prime minister of the country can accept the offer of becoming the chancellor of his university i am talking of 47 48 then the central act of 1951 to declare university vishwavidyalaya as a central university not yet passed after four years it was passed nehru's response was that if you give me an option i will prefer to choose that job to this one and not only nehru same was the response of another very distinguished son of bengal one of the chief justice of supreme court justice sudhir ranjan das he expressed his desire to be the vice chancellor not even chancellor and he said that i would like to be honorary vice chancellor of shantiniketan vishwavidyalaya university as the university place is called shantiniketan university is described as vishwavidyalaya all of you know the meaning of vishwavidyalaya and whenever somebody enters into the gate of vishwavidyalaya they find one sanskrit slok yatra vishya bhavetti ko niram this is the place which nests the whole universe and exactly that was the motto in 1930 he established chinabhum eminent scholars from all over the country came all over the country all over the world came and taught there therefore that was the value on which tagore depended unfortunately that university has also lost that value today i we do not get as because i am belonging to that area i take interest even before i became <clears throat> president or ministers i used to take interest and series of including the current prime minister all the prime ministers have ac accepted except i think one munarji bhai did not accept that offer but except that all prime ministers have become <coughs> chancellor of vishwavidyalaya university today i do not find a competent person to be the vice chancellor of that university like any other university it has deteriorated because we have a tremendous capacity to build up gone quite well for some time and then very fast we allow it to degenerate therefore 
this is the area where I think we shall have to uh, keep in mind not only to ha achieve high standards, to maintain high standards on a sustainable basis is much more important. Thank you. Thank you. I'm deeply grateful to you.